Carter and Pablo. We're going to talk about that. Don't you worry. Yeah. I am freezing, Jenny. Why is it always I'm cold always there? Always freezing. Why? Well, Paul. Because um, Ken works here. <laughs> Where is Ken? Because Ken, Ken is an environmentalist, and he likes to turn the heater off, or as much as possible down. We should talk about that in an Earth 911 episode. Right. What you need to do is hire people like Ken, who, who like to turn control. the heat off. Can Did you know Phil? Make the thermostat look like it's warm. Yeah, right. Have you missed John? It sounds like you have missed him. Rob, we wish you were here also. We will attempt to have a great show, but I would be skeptical oh, we're not about have that. A you all drove to Vegas? Yes. Yes. Well, by the you all, that means me and Carter drove to Vegas, and then Carter and I and Pablo drove back from Vegas, while everybody else took the miraculous flying tube O airlines. It's a, mar it's a miracle they fly. They're flying tubes. They're tubes. Are you trying to scare me about my next flight? They're big aluminum tubes that shoot through the air with rocket ships attached to them. That is a little scary, actually. It's what they are, literally. They are giant aluminum tubes with controlled rockets. Controlled by iPads. Yes. Giant aluminum tubes controlled by iPads with rockets strapped on either side of them. That use Apple Maps. That's how they, that's how you're, that's what happens when you fly. Now you see why I don't fly? Actually, that's not why. We had to take all the stuff, so, you know, what are you going to do? Mm. Pablo lost his tickets at the table. Yeah, it's not 323 yet. Jaybird right. wants me to not screw up the show. Since when did that become a rule? Yeah. Do we have any? We haven't had a rant in a while. I don't know. We don't have the rant cam. Thanks for the rant cam. Yeah, I guess we have to wait for a rant cam for that. And I can zoom in real tight and like shake the camera a little bit as you get angry. Yeah, you could, but it won't give that kind of fisheye effect of being right here, right in, like all up in the. Right all up in it. I have a question. Yes. Why, you, are, why are all three of the guys just standing there in a straight line? They're just staring at us. I don't know why. It's a little weird. Right a little? Camera. It's a little weird? It's awkward, don't We're you think? Awkward. It's got, getting on. I mean, right I'm just not sure what to, to think or do. Okay, well you They're just standing the there. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Help us. Hey, did we The good news is, folks, it's only 3.15, so we're way, way ahead of time for our 3 o'clock show. We've got, like, at least 10 minutes before we start any kind of show, so right. you don't have to really worry about it or anything. And in three. <laughs> right, Ready. Huh? I am. Can you hear me okay? Does my microphone work with my mock turtle necky shirt on? Hey. Oh, except that's not what I'm saying. Cor not according to the run sheet. I'm not sure who scripted that for me. I didn't. That was already in there. I scripted the other stuff. Apparently, I'm saying live. It's live from New York. It's Saturday night. And then I'm going to say, but it's Friday. And then you can do your thing. <laughs> and then you launch the apparently kid video because you just said apparently. 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 <laughs> Apparently, it's live from New York. It's Saturday night. Right, so we're going to give you a practice one, OK? Okay, we're going to practice. Wait, if you have our junior producer in here with us. That's right. We have a special special guest producer today. I'm not so worried about her. I'm worried about us since we've been off live for So we're going to months. practice. Here we go. And in three, two. Hi, I'm John B. <laughs> and I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, it's the best of CES. Unboxings. Amazon's one million dollar robot kit. Unboxings. <laughs> Live from New York. It's Saturday night. But it's Friday. What? That's how it will go. That's not how it will go. It won't. We should probably just take that one. Huh? Stefan from SNL. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know Stefan, but he's not from SNL. If, if you had like a, I don't know, 
Yeah. What Although about I him? did. Like, trendier, like, dyed hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I could be him? Yeah. You mean he could be me? Well, he could be me. What you mean is <laughs> Stefan from SNL could be John P., but he can't. Because there can be only one. The guy from SNL that does all the videos that you like, the the I'm on a boat. The singer, mm -hmm. Andy, Andy Samberg. Yeah, I was behind him at an airport line once. You were behind him. We both were. That's right. But we I was were. standing closer to him. Oh, that's right. Is that your claim to fame? That's my claim to fame. I was in line behind him at an airport. Yeah. Once I was on a. Once I was in line. And I could see Andy Samberg in another line. I couldn't tell you who he was, what his name was, but I knew kind of. She didn't know who he, who he was. I had to be like, oh, 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 oh. And she was like, what? I was like, oh. John's making his sex video oh. again. It's Andy Samberg. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I was like, oh, the guy with the mouth. She's like, yeah, who's yeah. that? I'm like, yeah, potty mouth. I'm on a boat. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah. Like and now, like two years later, she pulls it out on the show, like, oh yeah, that was me hanging with Andy Samberg in line. We had great conversations. In my own head, but we had great conversations. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. You're ready to start? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We missed you guys. Thank you for coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I appreciate you coming back, Carter. After the torture you were put through in Vegas. Ben said once I was in an airport line with Callie Lewis and John P. You were? Get it? All right, quiet on the set. Yeah, you haven't earned it. You haven't earned the right to be in a line with me and her yet. Okay. One day, maybe. I've done the dinner with you guys plenty of times. Huh? We've waited in plenty of lines. You don't wait when you're with John P. That's true. Well, you do a whip Yeah, we haven't ever been. In, I've never stayed fair. No, never been in a line with you. Probably at lunch. No, we did wait. We, we did. probably waited in lunch lines. Mm -mm. No, no. We did. don't wait in lunch lines. No, we did. We we all went to Freebirds. It, right and before, we waited in line at Freebirds. Right uh, Freebirds pissed me off so that. much. John Rush was at once in a party with Callie and John. He Absolutely. was indeed. By the way, do you know that? Do you know that? Yes, I know how much Freebirds disappointed you. Get over the burnt chicken. It's good chicken. That's not what I was going to oh. say, but. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say any of that. What? Yes, I don't like their burnt chicken. <laughs> and I don't know how you like burnt chicken. It's burnt. <laughs> do you realize what the definition of burnt is? I love their chicken. Overcooked. Burnt. On the outside, it's it's scarred. It's, it's disgusting. Not, it doesn't have it's, to be it's scarred. Uh, you know, it's, food? Yeah, exactly. You you go yes. to a Cajun restaurant and you're like, do you want it blackened? No, yes, I want it blackened. No, I don't want it blackened. Absolutely, you want it blackened. No, I want it seasoned, and I want it cooked appropriately and professionally. That is not blackened. <laughs> well, what's their point? But what I was going to say was, do you know? That the people who came here for the grand opening party on August 1st are, are freaking awesome. Are planning a reunion? I've heard something Rumors. about something. They're planning they're planning a reunion. That would be awesome. When is this when is the we need a little heads up because it's not ready for visitors right now. It's not ready for staff right now. It's yeah, a little it's, messy it's right now. A little, yeah, a little. It's, look at our look at our thousand dollar green screen crumpled up on the floor over there. <laughs> that thing costs a thousand dollars and it's sitting there in a pile. All right, let's get the show on the road. Well, I piled it up there, but I'm not. I'm just saying that it cost a thousand dollars and it was sitting on a pile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, great. It's a thousand dollar dog bed now. <laughs> I am well, David says, you, know you have what? a thousand dollar green screen? Yes, we do. It's the highest quality, most expensive damn green screen you can buy. It's like professional Actually, movie studio grade. It's a $500 green screen and a $500 blue screen. <laughs> right. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. And in three, two. 
Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Kelly Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, the best of CES. Unboxings. Amazon's $1 million robot kit. Unboxings. <laughs> and apparently, it's Friday, Saturday night. Shoot, I screwed that up. Wow. I'm live from New York, something like that. <laughs> wow, I can't even give my line. <laughs> it's Friday. Whoops. <laughs> I know we haven't it's been. Friday, I know we. Friday. That was what you're supposed to do, Duran. I know we haven't actually had a live show in like two months, but you act like you've never even seen Saturday Night Live. All you had to say was, <laughs> "Live from New York, it's Saturday night." That's yeah, all you had to say. I think I've maybe seen it like five times. Are you kidding me? Something you've seen like Saturday Night that. Live five. Is that Times. not something I should admit to, John P? Five. <laughs> five times? That's ridiculous. But I do have a Bam Bam Hammer. Not here, you don't. Where's Thank my Bam God. Bam Hammer? Don't anyone get that? Bam She's, Bam Hammer! She keeps hitting me with it. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, Welcome back to Geeky Live, even though we screwed it up. Did you miss I mean, us? <clears throat> I screwed it up. Did you miss us? Because no, we have not had, not. we we have not had uh, Geek Me Live since basically like November. November, yeah. We didn't have one all like December. Early November. Yeah, all December because we had a lot of stuff to do and we had to get ready for CES and all that stuff. And, and the today, holidays, people we're, wanted time off. I yeah, what's why. up with people? So we're going to talk about CES today. We are. But more importantly than that. My question is, did you get anything good for Christmas? Because we haven't had any Christmassy updates. Did you get any good Christmas presents? There were supposed to be Christmas presents? I gave you an awesome Christmas present. You don't even, you don't even use it. You didn't even pay attention to the awesome one I gave you. What but was that's that? okay. What was that? I happened to give you the coolest drink holder cooler thing in the universe. That wasn't for Christmas. What was that for? I don't know. It was, it was like, for Christmas. It was like January. But it doesn't matter because this is what I got for Christmas. I got a five pound gummy bear. Now, there, I do take issue with one thing about this gummy bear. Who gave that to you? My niece. Aww. My niece gave it to me. It says world's largest gummy bear on it. It is not the world's largest gummy bear. We happen to know it's not. Wow. I cannot believe she bought you a lie. Because. A, a four year old. How old is she? She's like yeah. four years old. A four-year-old should not buy lies. <laughs> That's right. Dare her. So, yeah, we, it's not quite the gummy bear that you and the team gave me a couple years ago, which that was is... 26 pounds. Right. It was five times as big as this. <laughs> However, uh, Open it. No, if I open it, I'll have to eat some. It's true. You could, you could eat could. And if it. I eat some, that's going to be... If I even start this thing... <laughs> There will oh, be no gym for you. It's gonna be bad. Aww. So I don't Is know. Is it as squishy as the other one? Oh yeah, it's it's yeah. actually squishier. Yeah. It's slightly You're squishier. Right. It's pretty good. Nice. It's pretty good. So uh, anything else we? Um, let's see. I forget. I I spent the holiday with my uh, with my family as yep. you did, and uh, I had a great time. I got, I like seeing my nieces, my family get to. Oh, we went to the uh, mountain, so that was a lot of fun. Did you ski? Mount Hood in Oregon. Did you ski? Did you ski on the mountain? Well, this year we did not ski. Usually, Have you ever been skiing? Yeah. I've never been skiing. I'm good at skiing. Did you I know I've never been skiing, skiing in my wow. life? Wow. That is sad. You people, should go, go skiing. People are like, you would love to ski. And I'm like, I maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you're on two sticks going down a mountain. Without on, any control. Without any control. <laughs> with trees in the way. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, I think I will go this summer. I think I'll go uh, skiing idea, this summer, okay? Good idea. Um, Should be yeah. good. So, uh, no, we actually took the uh, little nieces and nephews uh, for sledding instead, which was a lot of fun. So you sit on a board and you go down really fast Correct. with trees and you just... But it's like a kiddie slope, so it doesn't... I mean, it's not um, like... Although it's a lot of fun for the adults because it's, you know, what it is. Okay. Because it's with the kids. We also went to Las Vegas. We did for CES. How did you uh, feel about that? Um, it's well, obviously, 
CES is like the mecca of all year, right? It's like and drinking from a fire hose. Exactly. And every year it's awesome. Do you ever drink from fire hoses, by the way? All Have the you ever time. drank from a fire hose? All the time. I do it every Saturday night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. nice. Don't know if you guys know that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, we're going back to CES Awkward. in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in, in April. In April, we're going back. We're not going back to CES. To Las Vegas, I'm sorry. Right. We're going back to Las Vegas. It's time to begin planning that. We have begun planning going back to Vegas in time for the NAB show. That's right. So we, come April. We are going. Can you believe we are going to be the official broadcasters representing the National Association of Broadcasters? How crazy is that? What were they thinking? Who, who decided that? I don't know. Shh. Don't don't question don't, it. Don't question don't anybody it. bring that up, okay? No. They're gonna let us with our crappy little television show. Even Wayne's World is better than ours, but they're gonna let it's us. Wayne's World. Oh God! <laughs> they're gonna let us represent the entire national. <laughs> What are we doing? They're going. I to, don't understand a thing that's happening right now. They're going to let us represent the National Association of Broadcasters. More specifically, they're going to let me represent <laughs> NAB show. It's going to be freaking awesome, though. I'm very, very excited. Oh, you know we what have else? All kinds of things planned for NAB. So we what? have. What? John, we, what? Have, we can give people free registration. Yes. We have a free registration code. Not yet. No, we do. We just got it in email before the show. I didn't know. I didn't have a chance to check email. I forgot. I don't know how to use it yet. I don't know what. We'll we'll uh, look it up during a commercial break. Okay. So you guys, you guys, hang on a minute. Yeah, it'll be in the show notes right down there. TV.tv slash live 156. Just, just hang on. We got to pay some bills. So stick around, watch these commercials, and we'll be right back. Wait, is commercial break? Yes. And we're back. <laughs> the, uh, this is not The Simpsons. And that is not, you are not a clown. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, people, give me props. That was pretty good, actually, Dave. Thank you. No problem. You know you that was amazing that you even you noticed that. I do. Every time. Really? Every single time. <laughs> when does she do that? <laughs> when I'm doing the open? So when she's opening the show, she pulls her left leg back and swings it forward. <laughs> left oh, one yeah. or right? Because you're kicking left. off the I would show. think it would be more right. <laughs> really? It's this one? Yeah. I think it's more right, though. But every time you do the little That's dance, hilarious. Clog dancing. <laughs> Subliminal clogging. Okay. Uh, let's I see. didn't know I did Cloggy that. Lewis. Cloggy, Cloggy Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> and the camera never sees it. <laughs> Is Mr. Peterson watching? I can bring him over here. No, that's okay. Hey, Chris, Philby, how are you? <laughs> Uh, no, Jenny, I don't believe that uh, TXRX is in the chat room at the moment. Well, no, I'm not technically underdressed than John. Uh, he is just wearing, he, that is not a dress shirt, that is a workout shirt. Yeah, I forgot. That looks like on camera a dress shirt, and so he's making me Does look it look like a dress shirt? Dress. It's kind of like that blue jacket that he has that's cut like a blue Yeah, shirt. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that jacket is awesome. I love that jacket. You would think that that jacket was <laughs> like a sport coat. It, exactly. But you it's dress, really a jacket. You can dress it up or down. That's right. Dave is here and watching. Oh, Mr. Peterson, I'm sending you an email. Uh, and if you could, there is a. Why don't you also forward it to Ben? Well, well, we just need a short code. So. Oh, we need a short. Because code. there's a link. I thought you got to. That see that link? That's too long. No, no, they no. They can no, use no, the no. code. They, they got beat. this. Just go to registration dot. <laughs> yeah, right. dot com slash show nab one fifty one slash default dot ax. ASPX question mark passcode. Yeah, just, just yeah. go there. Yeah, just, just go, go there. there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Janny, this is a workout shirt. It's an exercise shirt. So earlier, I was wearing this. Oh no, 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 no! Classic Mac, don't do that to me. I was wearing this, and I wasn't. I wasn't thinking about what I was wearing, 
And also, I took all of my shirts home the other day. Because mm. I had like stacks of t-shirts, stacks of other shirts. And right before we had to go to CES, I was like, I needed a shirt. But half my damn wardrobe was here. So I just took them all home the other day. And I was going to bring a few back. And I forgot. And th I don't have a shirt to change into. <laughs> I just think you're hiding. This is the, this is the only shirt. Yeah, and then I have all these hickeys. I, wear a shirt. I have all these hickeys, so I want to hide them with my little mock turtleneck. Yeah. Because I told you already, I drove back from CES with Carter and Pablo. So, RC is that is that is that RC? RC? Yay, RC! I yes. have noticed he's been yeah. in here quite. He often. said that's a photo shoot. What's nice. a photo shoot? Waiting to happen. I'm not sure. What, what photo shoot? He said, wow, wow awkward. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does, Kevin, look like he's in a ninja mode. Because um, that's what ninjas do. Okay. Yes. Uh, Robert, of course we're live. We haven't been live because of the holidays. No, we're Memorex. Let's go. You ready? You sure? No, the Geek Beat t-shirts are actually not here. Oh, me and that shirt. I'm a photo waiting to happen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on down, RC. I'll take my shirt off and we'll take a photo. All right. Not really. Welcome back to CES. No. No, we're not at CES. We're on Geek Be Live. I did do that the other way. I when was we were doing on, that on purpose, though. Come on, people, work we were, with me here. Wait, when we were that at CES. That was supposed to be a nice segue. When we were at CES, did you say, welcome back to Geek Beat Live? You did not hear that. Yes, you did. Wow. <clears throat> but she hasn't yawned today. Have you guys noticed? She has not yet yawned today. No. Why not? Pro probably you bringing it up will cause me to. I know. I probably, it probably so will. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, no, we, we, as we said, we just got back from CES. And the one thing at CES and right after CES that we get asked constantly is what was, what your, favorite was your favorite stuff so we made it easy on you this year we actually picked some yes <laughs> <laughs> not just uh, for us or for you um, but we we wanted to create a best of CES and kind of give awards for that. We did. So um, we decided to get all official this year. What's up with that? Yay, awards. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to go over today. Let's our, talk about our it. Best the best of CES. The best of CES. For those of you who were not able to join the crowd of 150,000 plus people and 3,500 plus exhibitors, this is all you need to know right here. This is, all, this is why you watch Geek Beat. Right here, we're going to tell you the only things you need to know, right? Is well, that pretty much it? Well, I don't know that we'll go that far. Yes, that's all you need to know, okay? This from is now what we on, thought that we got excited about. From now on in your life, you come to me for what you need to know, and you don't need to know anything else. Isn't that right? No. I, I'm seeing like a little bling bling going on his teeth right okay, now. Okay, here we go. First up. What's first See, up? Yes, well, Samsung. I mean, Samsung made waves this year. We they did. We all expected going into CES that 4K would be the talk of the town. Well, it wasn't. It was. It what really wasn't. Um, I mean, there was a lot. There was a lot of talk about 4K, but you realize a lot you're of saying that. But I'm the one who moderated a panel on 4K. And you're okay. like, 4K was very insignificant. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. No. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Not insignificant. It <laughs> no, just I know, yeah. wasn't the spectacular, like, everybody's talking about it, like it was the last couple of years. Yeah, right? la yeah. Then it was like, ooh, 4K. Now it's like, eh, 4K. You were used to 4K by yeah. now. But How about Samsung 16K? did make a change. <laughs> right. Well, there is that. Um, so, uh, the uh, Samsung actually put out a 4K television that's curved but wait you're saying uh i've no, seen the I've samsung seen curved that. tv I've seen it we have one up front yeah but it also goes flat so it can go what? flat or it can curve what, what do you mean i mean it is you hit a button on the remote and it goes whoop whoosh whoop Whoosh. <laughs> it goes what <laughs> no i'm not doing that what again is, uh paul dixon <laughs> Paul Dixon, you know, you know that we need a uh, an animated gif of that. You already no, know it wasn't it, right? that exciting. 
I kept it. I kept it a little low. For... I think it was good. I think it was good. So anyway, that was. I, I saw that in person. Yes. I did a video about it. You guys can go to geeky.tv slash live 160, 156, whatever episode we're on. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool. They weren't talking about it though. They weren't giving me any information about uh, what is involved in the technology behind yeah, that. Yeah, they're keeping it super secret. But it was a best of because it's innovative. All right, speaking of innovative and other bests of, uh, you guys may recall that before we went to CES, a package arrived and we did a little unboxing of ye old Yota Phone 2. The Yota yes. Phone. Yes. Everybody was excited by this. And we had them. Turn it around, John. Turn it around. We, I'm about to. Oh, come on. I'm, turn I'm it around. I'm going to do the big unveiling in a minute. <sighs> we had them on the show to talk about the Yoda phone, which we think is still one of the best things on the show. Yes. Uh, and here's why. Bam. Bam. You're like, wait a minute. Wait. That no, wasn't that's a the good enough no, bam, no, John. See, do this. Another, do hang another on. bam. This is the main screen, you see? But when I turn it around, this is another screen. It's an e-ink screen. Now, just to emphasize how ridiculous this is, can we get an extreme close-up on that? Carter? Oh, extreme close-up. Extreme close-up. What does that say? That says voicemail recordings. Why would anybody leave me a voicemail? <laughs> that is a good question, John. They, they must not know. That is a very good question. Do you not listen to my voicemail? This... When, when you call oh, my here recording... Oh, we go. Here goes the rant. I say, hi, you reached John P's phone. I do not check voicemail. Do not leave me a voicemail. I will never check voicemail. I say that, do I not? Full disclosure. Indeed. Why does this say that? I Because somebody did not listen to you, apparently. Very obvious. Probably your mom. Anyway, the Yoda phone is awesome. <laughs> and we gave it an award. We gave it an award for best of. You yes. can see like what I can do is I can unlock the, I can unlock it by swiping upward there and I can I do that, I can change it. See how the best, see the best an way e out? You is it is an e-reader, it's a regular yeah, phone, yeah. long battery life. Like right things. here, I'm, I'm, there's a, I've got uh, Why are you reading about squads? Well, it's in- Lizard squads. It's, it's, it's my RSS reader, so I can read about, I can read RSS stuff here. What is a lizard squad? See, it's like a real e-book thing. That's awesome. But this is news. It's like, <laughs> this is in Gadget right here. We like in Gadget, they're our friends. We like all kinds of stuff. So, um, so anyway. very, very good, anyway. very good phone. Another phone that won a best of uh, that was very interesting is the LG Flex 2. That's I'm true. I'm sorry, the LG G Flex 2. Their second version of the flexible uh, curved phone, which I got my hands on, looked really Did you good. Squish it? I squished it. It felt really good. Did you it make can put you it feel good that you pocket. can squish it? It does. You know, you get angry. You're like, mm -mm. you know, like a stress ball, right? Yes, um. that would be fun. <laughs> you know what but I like it, best about it? What? It has an eight-core processor. Yes. It's octo-core. It is, with a 13-megapixel camera. That sounds like something that should be in a Spider-Man movie. Right. Octo-core. He's the bad guy. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's yeah. close. He's it's the bad guy. Octo-core. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. It's Spidey versus octo-core. Just saying. I'm just letting you finish. OK, I'm finished. OK. <laughs> Um, also, the Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2. I didn't get to play with it. I'm so okay, upset I, by this. I got my hands on this in a private meeting room and was like going at craziness trying to well, scratch the Well, first tell them what it is. it is. I know, I'm about to. Okay, you're telling them you're trying, trying to damage it. Huh? You're trying to damage I it. I was trying to damage it. So the deal here is that the tablet itself, it's a tablet, you know, running Andro or sorry, uh, running Windows 8.1. Uh, but it has any pen technology behind it, which what is means any pen? it has some, some technology to read uh, underneath, and it has a hardened screen, so you can literally take anything like what about my knife? keys, your knife, a uh, pencil, a pen, a uh, rusty nail, a, a rusty nail, a fork, a, what? fork, a spork, if you want. And scratch it. Well, what? you're not trying to scratch it, right? But you're. What about my diamond to, ring? You can use a diamond ring on it. <laughs> really? Actually, I don't. I don't. I don't think. Maybe. Maybe what not if, the diamond. What ring. if I put a diamond right here in my I tooth? I didn't. I didn't actually try that. What if Why I? Why would you use a tablet with your tooth? What if I had a diamond right here in my tooth? Why would you do that? And then I went like this with it. 
Because sometimes that happens. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> sometimes that happens. <laughs> just that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have I'm not just wondering, witnessed it. What would, happen, okay. what would happen if you did that? Well, I did not try a diamond on it. And maybe maybe, maybe you wouldn't want to. But it would launch Skype. Yeah, my, uh, <laughs> my launch Skype. But it was really cool because, you know, a lot of the problems with tablets is that you don't always have the, the pen or stylus yeah. along with it. And so you can use anything, pretty much, well, maybe not a diamond, on it. Is that why they call it the Any Pen? That is why they call it the Any Pen technology. All right, now it's time for any commercial. That's true. We'll take any commercial, any advertiser wow. who's willing wow. to buy the, the commercial space that comes right immediately after that. And this, yes. has, this has absolutely no... Uh, we are not saying anything bad about the appetizers that are coming right now. No, up, we right love now. the appetite. Appet the appetizer. <laughs> we love the appetizer. Here, here, have an appetizer on us. <laughs> it is so cold in here, my nose is running. It's so cold in the deep. Uh. How the F are we supposed to keep peace? You don't even know your own song? Dude. No, his is the Audi song. <laughs> That's the ringer on his phone. Audi, you, Audi. When you go to India. <laughs> Unbox. How is that okay. unboxed exactly? <laughs> when you go to India, you have to walk down the street singing that your song. You'd That's be like, right. I'm the big deal. Audi. Have you seen that? By the way. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Indian music. <laughs> for the record, I was in the D. RC, you can have my big gummy bear. If you know what I mean. Uh, uh I was in the D. I don't I'm not I'm still trying to figure out what that meant. I was in the D and it was so cold. Detroit! That's right. Yes! Do I get the gummy It was so cold in the D. Yeah, it usually is. For the auto show? Mm hmm It was ten. It was eleven. Ten. When I Don't when I and when that I was, was trying to figure high. out whether to that go or not, high. I looked at the weather. It you was, could have looked at the weather. It was zero mm. at one point. It was ten without the one. <laughs> nice. Nine. <laughs> it was ten in binary. Oh well, so it was on and off. That's right. <laughs> or it was off. I don't know what I'm it very was. I'm confused now. All I know is. It was hey. so cold in the D. Tell RC what new toy you got. RC, what? I got a new toy. He got it. You got a new toy? I yeah. did. I got. I, I personally bought oh, a new toy. You mean? You mean? He, he oh, okay. Carter hooked me up, but I personally, oh, yeah, those personally got. You can't get mad at me. I paid for it oh, with my money. I know. I heard you setting it yeah. up. Now the company bought mine. Right. Oh, great. <laughs> great. I bought a new Canon 1DX. It's not here right now. Oh, it's that, oh, I hit the wrong button. You hit the wrong button. No. So, yes, I got my, I got, I got a new 1DX. And how, oh, you have, it's not here yet. I've Sorry, taken like I'm three listening. photos. I'm listening. I've taken like, awesome. yeah, I've taken like three how, photos how did with you it. you play it? But uh, it is amazing. It. When you made that oh, is that what, is that oh, what you, you guys were her? looking at? You shot her with yeah. it? Okay. Yeah, actually, we should use that photo as like profile pic or something for her. Yeah, yes, no. Yeah, we'll it's do awesome. that. I was yeah. just dirty too. He said, "Oh, I thought it was a Nikon." Uh, you know. Nice RC. You nice know. RC. Yeah. Only, only professionals use Canon. Oh right. Oh. <laughs> RC's a Nikon shooter, just obviously for the record. He has to use Photoshop a lot more than you do, so. Yeah, but my he's. Th why do you think RC is so good at Photoshop? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the, since he's not here to defend himself. Yeah. I'll bet you he's here next week with a switchblade. I know, yeah. <laughs> yes, we do need to get together and hey, shoot. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. You can shoot him with the camera. We do. When, when are you coming here? You need to come here. Yes, come. Well, why, why are we always requiring him to come to us? I don't know, because we're lazy. But number one. Because we're lazy. Because they've got like big, huge, you know, geek house on steroids or mm -hmm. something over there. We need to go see it. Hey, Michael yeah, asks if you saw the new Acura NSX. I did, Michael. And if you go to, if everybody, everybody goes. You're coming in February, RC? Yay! That was a question mark. Everybody goes. 
to onemansblog.com forward slash, oh, this isn't going to be good. You don't remember it. N-A-I-A-S. A-S, 2015. N-A for North American, I-A-S for International Auto Show. Yeah, N-A-I-A-S. Because it's the North American International Auto Show. 2015. Go just, to onemansblog.com forward slash N-A-I-A-S. 2015. The only way to remember those initials is to think about the fact that it's the North American International, International Auto Show. Auto show. In, in Detroit. Wait, is that what they put in for today's show? Is that the No, I no, just told that's you. That's where he went. OneMansBlog.com okay. forward slash N A I A S 2015. Hey, Rami. Gotcha. It's it going to be in the show notes, but. You oh, can go he there. just oh. posted. Nice, Ben. ben Ben's got the big. <laughs> ben, Ben couldn't even plug in the short, like he couldn't I even mean, clean come up. On. That's from his feed burner right there. Right. But anyway, I appreciate you subscribing to the to the uh, feed there, Ben. So that's think, good. I think ben has, uh, has, uh, mail issues. That's right. But but the point is, <laughs> the point is. Thank you, Hawkman. I commented on the NSX there, and also Dave just completed and uploaded. I don't know if it's up yet or not. I don't know. I've you guys can check. Check the uh, check ye old youtube.com forward slash geekbtv. Wasn't that supposed to go out yesterday? It was a fairly complex shoot. Actually, so, look for that episode because one. Wait till you see it. It's badass. Reasons, two reasons. One is badass because, oh, mm -hmm. because I just repeated what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, because John spent a lot of time doing it. Two. Dave also spent a lot of time doing some special things. Yeah, he did. Do you know that I spent 12 hours shooting? I mean, literally, 12 hours shooting on whatever the first day was, Tuesday. And I spent another, like, two or three hours the next day. So I spent, like, 15 hours walking and shooting the auto show for you guys, just for you. And then Dave spent, like, two days editing that thing because it was... There was a lot. Where's the Nissan Titan, John P? They have a new Titan, and it no, is in. No, I thought he was talking about your Titan. It's in the show. I have a Titan out in the uh, out in the driveway. There, there is a Titan parked in front of our trailer. Uh, but there is also a brand new Titan out that has the Nissan has now incorporated uh, an optional oh, diesel I gotta engine. Try it all that's two. No, that's three. Oh, that's three. Three yawns. So there is a new diesel engine. But you'll learn all about that when you watch the oh. show at youtube.com forward slash That's a big yawn. Is it up yet, time. anyone? I know, I did. <laughs> did it, is it up yet? It. Does anyone have if it up yet? If you would listen yet? to your producer. Hello. It is <laughs> in the publishing mode right now. I had problems uploading. You just. Yeah. There was a problem with our bandwidth or something. Right. Yeah, we had a bandwidth. Yeah. Uh, we had a bandwidth yeah. problem. You, are you are you going to tell him you just live. lost the opportunity to send people to youtubecom TV and look for the episode? And if it's not there, you can look for something else. I was asking people if it there. was up yet. Oh come can on! Can we go back? Wow. I mean the video. If what the video was about? up yet. Pablo? Oh, the video. Yes, of course. Okay. Can we come back from commercial break? By the way, Callie and I have a meeting we have to go to soon. We do. Let's get out of here. Yes. Okay. All right. We're only doing oh, the we're first late segment. Already. Oh, we yeah. are late. We're going to be late. It's so cold. RC. In the Why is it very hard an episode to watch? RC. Get it? Is so. it up yet? This is a very hard episode to watch. You people are insane. <laughs> Hello, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat Live. There was I'm John P. There was inappropriateness during the commercial break. I can't help Why it. Why are we showing the wide <laughs> angle? I don't know. <laughs> I can't help that the people in the chat room uh, cause me to be inappropriate. I can't help that. RC. By the way, if you got, yeah, RC. By the way, if you guys would like to join in at any time, you can go to geeky.tv forward slash live. Yes, you, you can. You can chat right into our eyeballs while we're doing the show live. So that's the way it works. Awesome. <laughs> RC okay. almost spit his coffee out right now. Nice. Uh, we Love have more you, RC. CES. We have more awesomeness from CES. More including, best stuff. 
including, I think you got to do this one, the Fitbit. Did um, you do the Fitbit? No, I did not see the Fitbit myself. Oh. Did I? Was I on Fitbit? I don't oh, remember. I don't think I was. You would remember this because no, this is I the Fitbit surge. No, I did not get surge. to see the Fitbit because we were doing some, we had another meeting. Oh, that's right. So Renee did this one, the Fitbit surge. Now Fitbit has come out with a lot of different options and this one has a, a very large screen, um, which is a little different than their MO. It's a good looking watch. It I is admit. a very good looking uh, one. In fact, I think, I, I, well, I thought about getting one, but the, the thing is, uh, I like that it has a big touch screen. I like that uh, it has built-in GPS with tracking. Yeah, I the like heart that rate it has, center. Yeah, the heart rate sensor. sensor. I cannot talk today. It has limited smartwatch functionality, such as music controls. All of this, awesome. But? I, I actually love the look of the watch. I think that it would be a great, great watch to wear. What I want is, instead of limited smartphone functionality, I want like more functionality. So in other words, when my SMSs come in, I want to look down. I'm, I'm accustomed to that with my little right. Samsung Fit. When you want I get to be a, able to do something. I just did something. I like just I just like started the stopwatch or something. But when when Good a job. when a text comes in here, fixed? yeah, fixed? no, it just started working. Yeah, no, it, 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 it must have been the altitude. It broke on the way to CES. It started going funny. Funny. Then when I got home, I ordered another because I went to every store in town Carter, and couldn't get one. Answer this question since you were on the drive to CES. Did he or did he not drive over his watch and buy a new one? He did not. It really did just completely freak out. It freaked out. I'm telling you. Then I I tried to go to Best Buy to buy a new. I went to every Best Buy in town. I went to Walmart. I went everywhere in town. Nobody had one. So then I ordered one on Amazon. And then as soon as I ordered one on Amazon, the day it arrived, this one started working again. I now have two of them. Anyway, that is a long <laughs> way around of telling you that I like that Garmin. I mean the Fitbit. I'm sorry. I like the <laughs> Fitbit. Yeah, the Garmin's not bad either. Actually, we'll get the to Garmin, that, actually. actually, not today, but the Garmin did win That's a true. Best of CES Live Award. We didn't tell so. them that yet. We oh. didn't tell anybody that yet. You just did. Congratulations, so, Garmin. So. I thought you said we were talking about that Fitbit today. Fitbit <laughs> won for the surge, and it's cool. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Razer Forge TV, which I did not see. Did you see this one? I did not. Okay, so it's a, an Android-based set-top box, which uh, seems very interesting. Uh, can play, it has it can play Google, Google Play, games. so you can do games on it, full-screen Android apps. You can do four players. Uh, it's running 5.0 Lollipop. I like Lollipops. Lollipop, Lollipop, la, 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 Lollipop. Okay. It also uh, includes a, there is also, there are two accessories. You can get a lap keyboard and you can get a gaming mouse with it. So you see, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. The same stuff? You basically, yeah. Uh, yes, that's the Mad Cats that you're seeing um, on top of it, which is a game controller. So you, you've got kind of a two in one thing going here. Yeah, um, it looks like the game controller itself. Right yeah. You know what that looks like? Did anybody see the movie District 9? Yeah. These It looks like some kind of futuristic device from the movie District 9. Like, I feel it like does. we need to be, I feel like we need to be speaking with an Australian accent. No, South, South Africa. I'm not sure that. Or South African <laughs> accent. Sorry, it wasn't in Australia, it was in <laughs> South Africa. I forgot. Oh. South African. We don't let the facts get in the way. No, we don't let the facts get in the way. Okay. Anyway, so the uh, other gaming thing yeah. um, that happened was the Vir Virtuix Omni. Uh, it's a control rig. Uh, do we have a video on this one? Yes, dear. Let's see the video, Dave. See, look. Look, there. It's a call, call of, oh, we're seeing the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, now, Scott did an, uh, an episode about this. Yeah. It was really cool in person. Was I'm, it? I'm kind of, well, I, okay. I mean, from, from a perspective of, of virtual reality, yeah. these things, these types of things have been around for a long time. This one is a very inexpensive, yeah. $300 shipping in April. Um, yes, and it, so it really kind of gives people the ability to, 
to have it in their homes for now. Like that's the first one, low cost like that. But let me be very clear about one thing. When you look at it, we've seen these types of things in the past where they have a movable treadmill and you walk and the treadmill can move in any direction and when you walk across the treadmill, it does this stuff. Mm -hmm. That is not a treadmill. Just so we can be clear, what's happening is there is a, a smooth kind of concave surface and they're wearing special shoes like that one have of those Caribbean drums that they hit. They, they yeah, like their... a like a you know curved in kind of surface, yeah. and they're wearing special shoes that have like a felt liner. Yeah. So they're sitting in like a giant plastic diaper thing. There's like they're like suspended. You know when you're a little kid, when you take a kid and you drop them in one of those yes, things, in the and it has wheels and they can roll around, yes. and, but they bump they into the control. walls. Uh -huh. You're strapped into one of those, only it doesn't have wheels. You move your feet and you turn, yes. but you don't go anywhere because you got a plastic diaper on. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. So personally, so I was looking at it, and when I was watching the guy move around, I'm sorry to say, but he was doing a lot of adjustments. Oh, was he? He was like, yeah, there was like some crotch-tastic stuff going on there. So yeah, it was $300. And you know what, it gets you, it gets you the ability to move while playing games. Now, I will say to your point, yes. that's, that's a fair point, he's probably been there all day long. Probably. And so most people wouldn't play this particular kind of game all really? day. Really, really? How long do you guys play Call of Duty? Okay, fair By enough. show of hands. Like 12 hours at a time? I mean, come on. Yeah, like I'm getting a nine, nine hours, hours right here, okay? Right. I mean, how do you get out of your plastic diaper? Maybe they have an add-on sure, accessory I'm that sure you can... I'm sure it's like a belt. Yeah, a catheter -y thing, you know, <laughs> that you can just... Yeah, That's see? Bag. See, what if you have to go to the bathroom? That's what I'm asking, okay? John, That's all I'm asking. Don't wear pants. Yeah, there you go. Hey. No pants. A bucket. And We've a solved the problem. It's anti material anyway. yeah. No pants. Yeah, that stuff just runs right off. We'll be right back after this commercial break. We're back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Aren't you glad? Aren't you guys so glad aren't you that glad we we're back? are back for Geek Beat Live? Ah, Geek Beat Live. I think I need another haircut. I'm looking a little flat. Me too. I need a little haircut. I need a little off the side. All here. right. I'll do it. Why don't we do it on camera? Let's do it. Let's All right. You want to be known for screwing up Callie Lewis? I know. <laughs> I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to, I'm choosing right now to let that one go. How many times have I done that to you? <laughs> Bang. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you. So I did. All right. Can I put mine in there too? Or does that need to be a separate? Yours? Oh, gosh. Literally. <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking. Oh, brother. Did you see this stuff? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I saw the last two. How we... No, I didn't. See... I saw that one. Did you see BMW? Yes, that good. one. Okay, cool. I did the interview. Uh, I did not do. I did these, so that's good. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to. We it's live. not CES, <laughs> but we are covering the best of CES still. Even I'm going to get back into the flow of things even eventually. Though Chad Wren in the chat room says, is there a lack of oxygen in the studio today? <laughs> there might be. We have been gone for a while. I don't know what the guys did while we were gone, so we that's, spent a that's lot a of, possibility. We spent a lot of time above 6,000 <laughs> feet when we were driving uh, to CES, so it could be some oxygen deprivation there, still there left could be. There in could my brain. Be. But we have more best of CES and then we have a couple of stories and then we have unboxings. We have way too there, many unboxings. There is no way we get to do all those unboxings on the show today. But no. for those of you who are, yeah, we'll do some of them. Some of we'll them. We'll get to some of them. All right. So first and foremost, cars. Actually, cars were, like, we talked about how 4K was not really the talk of the town. 
talk of the show, but cars were. Mercedes, I believe it was, yep. opened up the entire show with their keynote and had a spectacular display. Uh, you saw, you talked to the BMW guys. Yep. That was your cue. I'm just kidding. To uh. talk. <laughs> About BMW. <laughs> yes, that is true. I did uh, talk to BMW. We're, talk, we're at eight, number eight. By the way, I would like to point one thing out. It used to be that the that the auto show overlapped with CES, yes. and the auto make manufacturers have figured out that CES now is so important to the automobile industry that they actually move the dates yeah. so that they are not overlapping, they're kind of back to back. And what I also noticed having gone to both of these shows was that they emphasize completely, completely different things at the two shows, yes. okay? So for example, we had the guys from BMW come on the show and they were showing off exclusively their tech, their their connected car application right. stuff. So basically, they had a little uh, smartphone uh, application that allowed you to check all kinds of things like, for example, start your car, check the status of the battery on your car and stuff like that. But they had taken it one step further. They'd actually, they're going in a direction I really like yeah. because, I wish you could have seen this, it's the first time I've ever seen a car manufacturer telling you not to drive your car. So let me give an example. You mean like driverless car? No. I mean, they're saying leave your car at home. Here's why. Let's say you were in an urban environment and you could walk, take your car, or there was public transportation. Right. You went into your BMW app, put in the address of where you wanted to go, it checked all available routes and it would come back and be like, oh, the traffic's bad, it's gonna take you 22 minutes if wow. you drive. But if you walk to the corner, take the subway one stop and walk, it will be 16 minutes, so go that route. That's interesting. It was really cool. Huh. So I like that because that's where we're going for a fully... It's, it's like a holistic approach. Yeah, it's, it's you know, we, we've been talking for a while about wanting to see everything integrated. Yes. Home, car, car everything, everything, right? Well, that's kind of a step in the right direction. So I thought that was very cool. Very, very cool. But it's but but by the way, at the auto show, none of that. They were just like, look at this luxurious supple leather in our automobile. You know, it was all like completely consumer, like uh, just trying to focus on things that were not really techy. Right. So I thought I thought that was really funny how how they completely changed their messaging from one very show to the next. Interesting. Um, another topic of, of interesting conversation was 3D printing, yes. 3D scanning. Um, our tech was a very interesting standout from uh, the point of their, their handheld scanners. We've seen healthy handheld scanners with our 3D Palooza event that we held. You got your head scanned. And I needed it. I'll yeah. admit it. <laughs> um, but they have they have a few different types of things. This Shapeify booth was really cool. Um, you get in. They had a they had a line out the wazoo trying to get their people to try to get people scanned because everybody wanted to get scanned. So you stand in the, the full body scanner and it's kind of like those seconds. those uh, hotel or hotel the rotating airport, doors the airport uh, things. Oh, the yeah, yeah, the x-ray machine. But at the same time... The one time, that lets you, them see you naked. Right, but this doesn't do that. It's scanning you in terms of... Or does of, it? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Um, it's just taking the, the profile of you, right, and turning you into a Bobblehead model. Bobblehead doll? Into a model. You can send that off and you can get it uh, printed in 15 minutes. So that's pretty cool. That is very cool. We need to get one of those. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we should get one. We should just, oh, we should put that in the transporter room. Yes. OMG. That would be sweet. That's, a, that's, our, that's our version of Star Trek transporter. Yes. Now, also, there was one other thing that you got to enjoy. Yes. Uh, I was pretty upset about that. Um, well, you got to talk to him after at I least. I did. I at did. Least. And that was Xano. Yes, the little micro drone. Yes. It was really cute. Tell us about it. So this little micro drone, I... I saw the notes ahead of time and I thought, oh, okay, we're going to be getting this large freaking thing. Yeah. And in comes this little tiny, tiny handheld, I mean, it's, it fits in the palm of your hand. Um, 
And, and there he goes. It comes from the basis of military technology, worked into a small, tiny little device like this, has a camera, a flash, uh, it'll do aerial photography, HD video, and it has follow me technology. Does it have swarm capability? It has swarm capability. It has everything you could possibly want in a little drone, and any drone Does it have lasers? built into a tiny little Does it have freaking package. lasers? Uh, does it have lasers? All I want is freaking lasers. I did not see any lasers, but here's the thing. I uh, We didn't get a full-on demo of it because somebody, somebody had just stole stolen the computer his that laptop, controls it. Which they stole that sucked. It. But it was it, it has a lot a lot of features that yep. there were we were seeing a lot of those features in the bigger drones at CES. But uh, this had it in a tiny little one. Nice. Package. Pretty soon you're going to be able to just pull out a bunch of them out of your pocket like they were jacks and toss them in the air. And then just toss them and they go swarm, swarm around and they're going to like kill people. Yeah. And we'll be right back after this commercial. Break. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh! Uh, who are you talking to? Right. You just throw it and it forms and starts flying? Yeah, we're probably not far from there. Probably not. Although, you'll, you'll have things that are much smaller than that. I mean, it only size needs... Size doesn't matter, John. It's okay. Yeah, size, size isn't important, okay? It's what you do with it, okay? So... You be, follow. That's right. <laughs> you'll be able to take something small, even maybe a three rotor instead of a quad rotor or something right. like that. But you'll be able to take something like the size not much bigger than your finger and toss it in the air and it'll just start flying and it'll just follow you around. How about that one that uh, Chris got in our white elephant thing? Twenty-five dollars. That little It's this big. Yeah. It's like it's like fold a dollar. It's like twenty five, thirty dollars, yeah. the best little quadcopter I've ever seen. All it needs all it needs is, is a little bit of intelligence and a camera. Uh, so I think we're, we're, we're getting close to that. So then everybody's going to have everything being filmed at all times. That's an awesome predicti prediction of the future. Do you know about the Kickstarter, John, for the watch warm one, the one that you launch from your watch? No. Didn't we cover that? I don't remember. Did we? Just because I talked about something doesn't mean I know what I talked about. Yeah, we just gave him a script. I will read anything. He's like Ron Burgundy. Uh, yeah, I'm Ron John, Burgundy? I'm John P? I'm John P? <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. We're going to come back from commercial break. We're not talking about that. What? That? Remy says, say hi to the Geek Beat team working in the background. Hi, team. Hi. At first, we had science? Yeah, science. Okay, I'm just checking. No, I know. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. Okay, gear up. Do your thing. I'm not questioning your ability to do your job. Since you were all confused about numbers before, I just thought I'd let you know that it's not the next story. All right, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Get, what is wrong with you, John? Are you in in? I'm trying to remember what the next mode? story is about. Ugh, I can't remember the next story. Well, that may mean that you have, I hope it doesn't mean that you have Alzheimer's. I don't know. I can't remember. But don't What's worry. What's Alzheimer's? Yeah, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. That, don't worry because researchers at Stanford University are close hopefully to finding a cure because uh, what they think is, well, what's known is that uh, Alzheimer's disease is caused by a protein in the brain called EP2 and they found a drug to block that. An EP2 blocker. An EP2, that, nice, yeah, they should call it that. Yeah, EP2 they should. EP2 blocker. They should. That's cute. So yeah, it needs a little bit more testing. Uh, they're, because they're working on mice. They've only, they've only got it to work in rats, basically. But they're, you know, they rats, humans, we're all the same, right? Like 99% 90, of the same DNA in rats and humans. And in some humans, more than that, to be honest. So I'm pretty sure it'll work. Uh -huh. Pretty sure it'll work. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, by the way, did we mention we're not doing CES stuff anymore? We're past that. Oh, yeah. We already told you about the CES that stuff. That had nothing to do with CES. We have a little bit of news for you now. Yeah. Not sorry. much, yeah. but a little bit. And robot time!
Wow, is it already robot time? Yes. That oh. was an awkward wink. I cannot wink for the record. She's not a winker. She's not a winker, folks. <laughs> but what do you have? What do you have that's going to kill uh, us today? Robots. All right. Amazon. <sighs> Well, the Japanese version of Amazon is selling um, these uh, components to build your own little karatsu. Kara, karatasu. Did you say little? Uh huh. That's a little one? <laughs> yeah. That, that's the pocket version. That looks like a transformer. <laughs> it rides on three wheels. Uh, it comes in kind of a kit, and you can uh, assemble it yourself. It is armed with twin Gatling BB guns. Good God. And get this right. a water cannon. Didn't we see those in the real uh, The thing is, I, I'm not really so scared of the water cannon or the BB gun, although that does sound like it could be a little pain. You could put an eye out. You could put your eye out. But but what does worry me is that is a giant robot that could kill people. No. It's, it's just, it's a robot kit. It can't do that much harm, John. If it, all it has to do is roll over and you and it will you kill you. It won't. You can have, you can have that a thing could century. fall on you and kill you. You can have a century to keep the cats out of your yard. Think about that. That's true. Although that's it will cool. cost a million dollars. Oh, well. So it's not going to be for everybody. There, for these million, won't be rolling around everywhere. For a million dollars, I can hire a gang of 12 year olds. Each with their own Red Rider BB gun to keep the cats out of my yard. And with that kind of money, I could require that they stay 12 years old forever. But, I mean, that's a, a gang is technically only six to seven people. So um, that's a lot for 12 year olds. How do you know so much about gangs? You just watch New Jack City. What do you have next? I can't believe you didn't even call me out on the fact that there is no r actual definition of what a gang, how many members a gang I has. I thought you were an expert on gangs all of a sudden. Wow. I thought there was a part of your I got, background I that I didn't know about. That. I got by with that. That's I didn't impressive. Know. I, I saw you throwing gang signs before right. the show and I didn't know what it was. The now I know. <laughs> the next thing is the Disney Beach robot called the Beach Bot. Uh, uh, just, I mean, should be called, right? Um, it is from Disney Research with Does the help of pictures? ETH Zurich. It has, it looks like a little robot, doesn't it? It's it looks very, like a turtle. very cute. Yeah, I mean, a turtle, that's what I said in it's my a, head. It's a turtle bot. <laughs> that's what I said in my head. Uh, it is a turtle bot. It recognizes um, boundaries if they're white poles. See those white poles around there? Yeah. And uh, it creates beach drawings. That's its kind of its sole purpose at the moment. Yeah. You set it aside, you set it with a design, it goes out there and it creates these beach designs. How freaking awesome is that? Uh, now Great. Now the beaches are all gonna be littered with drawn advertisements. Cause as soon as Coke and Nike see this thing, there's gonna be giant Cokes. There's gonna be it's robots only, drawing all only, over the beaches. It is only for public exhibitions, so and so people let's, let's do a Kickstarter that does crop circles. That is crop a good idea. Circles. A crop like circle it, robot. Dave. We need it. I Look, like it. I think it's drawing uh, Nemo. That's Nemo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It it's is a Nemo. Disney bot after all. Okay, I gotta admit, I can't really quite see how he would kill me, but um, I'm sure he's gonna work with all the other robots that will kill me. Oh, that's somehow. a good. That's a good. Uh, Rusty G suggests in the chat room uh, that you could put a sit, sit of beer on it as it goes by. Maybe you could just like. It Pick could be like a robot. Beer delivery. That beer delivery bot. Delivers beer. Why don't we just. Pay a human to do that job. Because that's a cute. Why don't you pay 12 year olds to deliver beer? Yeah, that, I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> pay 12 year olds to deliver beer. They need, 12 year olds need jobs too, you know? Yeah, what if it gets wet? You know, what if it gets too close to the ocean? You know, it's a shame because back in the olden days, 12 year olds could get jobs. Yeah. Now we don't let 12 year olds get jobs. How are 12 year olds supposed to earn a living? They can babysit. It's really a shame. They can babysit. Uh, but it, it may be a shame, but it's time for planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. So. I thought we already did planes, trains. We talked about BMW already. First of all, you mentioned earlier that Mercedes had a self-driving car, but they didn't get to see a picture of it. Correct. And I bet you Dave has oh. something like that. Do you, Dave? Bam! That. That is not. Okay. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> there we go. So the Mercedes F. 015 of course is a self-driving car it's made of carbon fiber and aluminum 
It's 40% lighter than your normal S-Class. The front seats can pivot forward to backward so you can face the rear passengers because you don't need to look forward. In fact, that's not even a windshield really in the front. Look at this. He's going to sit down. He's like, uh, Jeeves, take me home. And guess what? Oh. It is. Look, he's waving at it and hey, stuff. Yeah. He's like you know, driving through Las Vegas. Yes. It is. It's iRobot. With, uh, with self-driving cars, I want seats to change quite a bit. I, they still are using seat, the same kind of seats that we use in current cars that we have to mm -hmm. sit there and drive with, right? Yeah. I want our seats to change up a little bit, get a little bit more comfortable and, and you know, intimate. You want like a Barco lounger in there? Something like that. Okay, yeah. With self-driving cars, you can make out the front seat now. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you could. You know, baby, all kinds of babies could be conceived all over this car. Uh, from, because you don't front, have to drive. Front seat, back See, seat. They're, they're facing each other and yeah. stuff. Uh, and then you just touch. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd, I thought we'd show you this. I mean, why would you that not? That's awesome. Why would you not? Everybody I, why, wants that. Why is Duran uh, holding his hand up like we're in a classroom? He has a cl What's your question, Can Big D? Can kids sit in the front seat? Can kids sit in the front seat? That's I don't see why question. not. That's a good question. If the front seat can turn around. I don't see why not. The, the, the point of it is, these cars are going to be controlled by robots, so they're going to kill us anyway, so you might as well be comfortable All while right. you're doing it. What now, else you got? The more important thing is that Elon Musk, always making the news. Always. Is that Daria's dad? It's not Daria's dad, but I bet she wishes it was. He has decided, you know what, I've been talking about this Hyperloop thing, which is basically a cylindrical tube that we shove a train down and goes 700 miles an hour. Let's build one. <laughs> Let's build one in Texas. Well, that would make perfect sense because Texas is so expansive. We have so much land and it takes forever. Like people come out from out of the country or mm -hmm. even from out of the state and think that they're going to go to Austin and visit Dallas yeah. in the same day, yeah. which isn't going to happen. That's like different states, people. But the point is, he really wants to build one. He wants to build one of these trains from San Francisco to LA to shoot people up and down the West Coast. Mm -hmm. But it's California, he can't get everything, anything done there. So he's gonna come to Texas and he's gonna build like a prototype. From where to where? We're almost done. I don't know, probably in a circle or something. I don't know. A circle? I, I don't know. Maybe from my, I've been talking to him about going from my house to the geek house. I'm like, hey, it would take like 0.1 seconds Let's make this happen. Why well, don't we got that particle accelerator over there and walks ahead? We do. That's we could true. we could That's redo true. we could reuse the particle true. accelerator. I don't know. Why don't I you just, know. just have it? Why don't you do it from your house to you, uh, your brother's house in Houston? We could. That way but you then, can visit your nieces all day every day. Wow. Yeah, that would be great. My nieces wear me out. I'm too old for my nieces, to be honest. Your nieces aren't that that tiring. Really? Then why don't you come down to Houston with me? I, uh, you, you want me to count the hours that I've spent babysitting your nieces? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm just asking if we can add a few more to it. That's all I'm asking. Can we add a few more to it? I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay? Is that okay? I don't all know. All right, I got a new job. Awesome. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We're going to unbox some stuff Yay! when we get back. You ready for that? I'm not. Because it's what? It's not going to be here for three weeks. Oh. Yeah, you're not. <sighs> hey, is your Windows phone going to work over there? It's an Android phone. Huh? It's an Android phone. You think there's also a Windows But is there a... Oh, you don't... What do you oh. Have, you don't that, have your yeah, Windows phone anymore? Or unveiled at CES. Okay. You don't have your and Windows phone eight, anymore? Eight core processor. Put a Windows phone. Uh, gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage. And where'd you get it? From Blue. Did your okay. Windows phone blue screen or what? No, I just got a new phone and did it. Now he's going to review it. I already reviewed it. The article's oh. written. It's, it's, it's waiting. You're waiting on Dave ah, Peterson? Ah, nice. Yeah, because all, of all Ben's press releases. Ben submitted like 400 press releases all at once. So That's one his thing job. I know, because <laughs> I have a Yoda phone here, I know that Sprint breaks ranks with other ISPs on net, net neutrality. Hmm. How about that? And the U.S. and the U.K. agreed to closer collaboration on cyber warfare. 
Bridge also has the slowest nationwide network. We're gonna we're gonna cyber warfare everybody, us and the Brits. Yeah. G'day, mates. That's because you have T-Mobile. You have to call everybody three or four times. Ouch. Oh, sorry. There I'm goes just the T-Mobile sponsorship. Yeah, there goes the sponsorship. <laughs> he had a great signal on the trip back. Yeah, his signal on the way back was amazing. It was it? Very well. and yes. We, we both had four bars of LTE. He had no service. Yeah. Nice. yeah for like, like for 70% of the drive, I'd say. Okay, Callie, where is your Yota phone? Another yawn. In my office. Wh whoever's drinking, take another shot. Rusty says, nice shot. I got you yawning. Shot. All right, let's do this. It's 4.30 already. My head is cut off in the little one. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. I'm coming back to four. Four eight. Should I do this? And yeah. <laughs> like that, yeah, like, right. oh, shucks. What's two plus two? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, here we go. And three, two. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome oh, back. That. Go it's ahead. Unboxing time. Go ahead. Brian said in the chat room, he said, John P., my wife just commented on how skinny you look. Is that good? Do I look, is it good to be skinny? Or do I look too skinny? I don't know. I don't know if that's good they or not. Mean, they mean it well. They it's mean a, like how like fit, fit I look? How oh, okay. fit, how, right. how, how okay. much weight you've lost. And, oh, yeah. And Have I lost that much weight? I don't know, John. Dig in the hole, dig in the hole. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're just kidding, folks. It's time to unbox some stuff. We've got two things in this box. Oh. There's two things in the box. I think one isn't supposed to be in there. There's not, but it ended up in here because you want to do the honors? Uh, sure, I don't can know you what you keep it is. It, can you keep your fingerprints off of it? Ooh, it's a new phone. It is a new phone. What it's is one the that Big D got for review. It is the blue. Turn it over. Turn it over. Vivo See? Air. The, oh, the blue. The blue. Vivo Air. Vivo Air. That it is, is light. I see why they call it air. It's an octo core. <gasps> nice. 16 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM? 1. 1 yeah. gig of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. It's running it's an Android. Android. Is it running uh, Jelly? 4.4. Oh, it's 4.4. Yeah. What is this? Is this like a... Is that's this a background. Just, oh, that's a it's background. It's called a background. I was thinking it was like a section down here because no. I'm looking at it for the first time. Upside down. Yes, I am. So I believe and backwards. I believe we got a review coming out of that thing. Yes, Duran uh, has a review coming out very soon. Just very keep soon. an eye on Geekbeat.tv. That's the guy. That's yeah. the man. That's right. Yep. He is the man. Okay. Would you like we have another. Know? We have another box. We have another. We have another uh, uh, item right, in the box, turn, which is the then. one that really came with the box. And this one is. You're going to regret that you told me it was my ah! turn. The Jabra Sport Pulse. This is okay. Wireless this is earbuds. Awesome. I've been wanting to give these these kinds of headphones a try, where they go in. Oh, you're getting a call from Jim. Yes. Yeah, should we answer that? <laughs> Would you like? Should we your... answer that on the show? <laughs> um, uh, this package contains Jabra Sport Pulse wireless earbuds. You put it in your ear, and it gets your heart rate from the pulse inside your earbud. Oh, really? Inside your ear, yes. I wonder if it's accurate. They say that it's one of the most accurate ways it can I would open it, but the thing is, it's just wireless earbud. That's it. That's what you're going to get. We're going to open it, awesome. and you're going to see the exact same thing. So instead, we will not open this right now, because Callie will open it and do a review on it. And we will keep the party going. I don't know. What, what else? Just pick one. It's okay. okay. Just go. Ooh. I know. Robot. Robot. Where's my knife? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> Always getting robots in here. No, I'm just kidding. These robots, I don't mind because they clean up after us and serve humanity. Yes, they do. And they don't have baby so we have a couple of different robots today. We do. We have we a couple. Do. We do. Yeah, this, the wind box. Yes. So you can tell them what that is while I'm getting the other one out. The WinBot, we actually did a video on it, an interview at CES. Um, this one will clean your window. So you attach it to the window, 
and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, side to side, whatever. And oh! oh. oh. And it'll keep your windows clean because you know what? That's the worst job in the world. Cleaning windows? Yes. Well, this is its big brother. Ah, uh, I've been. The D Bot. I've been really wanting to try one of these because this thing. So this is actually really cool because it's like a, you know, it's like a floor vacuum cleaner, right? A robot vacuum cleaner. But here's the deal. This, this right here is where it's keeping all of the dirt. It like sucks it in when the robot docks. So you don't have to clean this piece. You just clean that. You just, you it just looks empty like that. You can actually pick that up and use it as a handheld vacuum. Yes, that's the other do you, thing. Do they teleport it from across the room? No, no, and then that becomes a vacuum in and of itself. How, okay. how freaking cool is that? That is, that is freaking cool, like lasers. Like lasers. I believe it does exactly as I say. <laughs> it's Excuse a, me. It's been a little while since I looked at it. I but. opened the box. It made me sneeze. Let's if see I am what wrong, we got. I apologize, Winbot. Congratulations on purchasing your new D-Bot, the four cleaning robot. Look, she's having dinner with the D-Bot. There's all nice. kinds of bots. There's the Atmo bot, the air purifying robot. I a saw that bot, at CES. A Fami bot. The Fami bot the, uh, is really cute. It's a it's a purifier, and um, and uh, what else does it do? I forget. Um, ah, I don't know. Huh? Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's a Bluetooth speaker and takes phone calls, so it'll follow you around the house. So we've got a little plastic case. It's not that little actually, but there's a case here. There we go. Oh, we've got all kinds of oh. attachment, vacuum-y, attachment-y stuff. Nice. Yes, it is a complete, there we go, is a complete vacuum. So clearly, we're going to have to do some assembly work on this bad boy. There's also a remote control so that if you're lazy like me, you can sit on the sofa and make the robot do the work. Exactly, and here's that piece. I like that. Oh, there's the canister for the the canister for the vacuum. Yeah, what's the price on this? Anybody? Here's the Anybody? Robot. So, are you telling me that the canister attaches to the robot? Uh, to the dock the, that I have not pulled out yet. Oh, so the canister attaches to the dock. Oh, I see. There's a little hole right here. So when he comes back to dock. I presume he somehow gets This his, smells brand new. It's every, awesome. It is brand new. So I know, you, but it smells it smells good. Anti-germ. See? That that attaches to this right here. Okay. I'm not sure if it has one particular way, yeah. Yeah. That goes like that. That goes like that. So he drives he drives in here. And Maybe I'm wrong like about that. it sucking. No, I but think I think, I think I am. I think, I think I am. you're right. I think that's how it cleans itself up. But, but we're going to find out. Yes. We're going to do a complete review on that bad boy. Cool. So, 629 bucks, 99 cents. Not or bad six, at all. Or 699 699 or 29 I see. That is not bad. Uh, in, fact, in fact, compared to some of its competitors. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I already pulled that out. Oh. So compared to some of its competitors, that is actually a pretty darn good deal because that is a lot more stuff yeah. uh, than the others. You have somewhere to put that? Uh, we're going to put it right down here for now, and we're going to keep the unboxings rolling. How are we doing on time, Pablo? It's a very hard concept to... In other words, we're way over. Okay, we'll do like one or two more, and then we will wrap it up for you guys All on right. TV here. Let's see what we got here. Ah. We have goodies from El Gato. Ooh, oh, El Gato. Okay, so this is the smart power. Open this up, please. Okay, opening. Okay, we have two things here. We have um, the dynamic mood light. This uh, connects to an app and uh, allows Bluetooth. you to control the, the, the light color Avia, and all Avia. of that. Avea. I covered that at uh, IFA, if you remember. Welcome. From Berlin. And this is a Bluetooth battery. I'm and, sorry, yes, it is. That's right. It is right. a Bluetooth battery. It is it's a, a battery. What? It's a portable battery that has Bluetooth on it that will allow you to control, um, get information about the battery status on your iOS device. 
and it will give you updates. So like if it knows, if it looks at your calendar tomorrow and sees that you have a lot of meetings and you're gonna be out and about and you have addresses in your calendar and everything, it'll tell you, hey, don't forget to charge me because I'm gonna be running out. That's cool. How freaking cool is that? That is very cool. Now this light says the dynamic mood light it's seven watts, and it has all these different colors, I guess. They're, they've named them. They've Calm named them. Calm Province, Cozy Flame, Cherry Blossom. Nice. They're basically purple, red, pink, blue, green, <laughs> light green, dark green, pink, yellow. So I guess what you can do is you connect it up to your uh, iOS device, and it will allow you to change the mood lighting. So I can imagine if you had a bunch of those. Yeah, I'm not sure what the price uh, is. Sure Anybody's the price got some pricing on, on those? So we will get those suckers set up no. and reviewed for you guys as well. Indeed. And right. what do we think? Maybe one more time for one more? Uh, that's yes, we'll make it. Not? One more, one more. Uh, I have no idea which one to pick, so I'll pick this one right here. What do we got? Oh, the Joe Pods. Remember the Kickstarter project that I kept talking about because you have the um, Keurig. Oh, the right? one that would like turn it. Does it like turn a coffee pot into a Keurig or something? It like turns a... any coffee pot into a Keurig. I actually got a pre-release version of it and showed you how it worked. This uh -huh. is they're shipping now, so it was a Kickstarter project, and so you put this in a regular coffee pot, right? And it. In a standard basket, and it you can put your Keurig, your K cup really? in it. How's it open? Hang on. Push. Push. <laughs> oh, no. here we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, push there. Um, and you put the K cup in here, and then it will. You can use your K cup. So and it you don't have it to right have through this thing through Keurig. like a thirty dollar. You can use like a thirty dollar cheap coffee maker instead of like a hundred and thirty dollar exactly. one. You just put your mug in there instead of the carafe. And, and it you makes still, and you just get one cup per, you know, brew, which is the brilliance of K cups. Uh, does, so, that, does that use the larger K cup size of the craft? I don't think so. I think this uses the normal size K cup ones. Yeah, the normal size. Yeah, it's the normal size K cups. And I think it's backwards. That's pretty cool. I think cool. it's using the. Did Did you get to try it? Before I with the prototype before, one, and it, worked? it worked well. Okay, it worked well. Well, I like the way they packaged them. I think it's a nice package. So Joe Pod. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm guessing if you just do a search on Joe Pod. Actually, go to what Joe you can do Pod, yeah. is Geep you can go right TV. here. Geepy.tv forward slash live 156 and you can read all about it. Awesome. Follow the links. You know, we have, if you look at the drop cams on uh, geepy.tv slash drop cam, you'll notice in the break room drop cam, we have three coffee makers. Why do we have three coffee makers? Because, well, we have one for We're tea. a little obsessive. And two for coffee. We're a little obsessive. That's what she's telling me. We drink a folks. lot of coffee around here. Okay, that's it for this week's show. That, my friends, is Callie Lewis. You can find her at twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis, google.com forward slash uh, plus. plus Callie Lewis, <laughs> and or facebook.com forward slash Callie Lewis. And if you want actually interesting content, go to twitter.com slash John Pose, google.com slash plus John P, or facebook.com slash John Pose. You can do that. Or anyway, Geek Beat everywhere. Geek Beat right. TV. That's right. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in for another week long episode. It felt like a week long, didn't it? It did. All right, we'll see you later on. Bye, guys. That's when you can cut, Dave. Yeah, we yeah. cut. That's and when we can, you can, we can cut. Take one of the, can I make hot chocolate in this? Yeah. They make hot chocolate cup, cake cups. Nice, nice. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, do we, let's yeah, see. Yeah, we can do those. I don't think there's any. Oh, the, we, we that might. is kind of important. This one is? Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I think that's super important at the moment. We could do the others and just start okay. working on reviews. We'll save those. Hand it over. Oh, there you go, sorry. All right, now guys. Now, John, I know this. This is one. This is one for you. Okay. And then this is one for me. What is it? I'm waiting for you to figure it out. It looks like. Is this a tablet? It, yes. <gasps> the Nexus Nine. <laughs> From HTC. <laughs> From HTC. So, uh, 
Awesome. I've yes. been wanting to take a look I'm at this bad boy. To get uh, this open. I'm going to break mine out. There we go. Here we go. All right. And then Oops. also. I got my fingerprints all over it now. Let me clean it up <laughs> on my shirt like a baby. Also, I have a little awesome camera. This is called the Re. We t saw this at CES, and uh, it is a, it's an LCD list camera. So kind of like the GoPro, but without you know a, a display of any sort. Remember that guy had it hanging on his neck? Hit the guy had it hanging on his neck. It's so wide angle can, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it is. It goes kind of like this. I okay, don't like what 175 the degree degrees so, or 170 degrees or something. 146 like that. degrees. Ooh, Google. And it's Bluetooth too and Wi-Fi. Google. How do I get this open? I think I have to break a seal. You want me to? You want me to help? No, oh. I got it. Open. I'll fix it for you. <laughs> there we go. I just had to. Break the seal. Oh. So I've been wanting to You've take a look at the Nexus, the Nexus because, uh, you know, the Nexus ones are the ones that get all the latest versions of uh, yes of Android. So I've been wondering. We always use Samsung, which we love Samsung, and they're great, and they add all kinds of cool little things to it. But uh, this one is of particular interest to me. Are you? Are you? Spying on me because yes. it's kind of. It feels of like a little. Me. To me, this feels it's like, like a, a little submarine. Yeah, like yeah, a periscope. periscope. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it's like it's, one of those old school military ones. And it has a uh, tripod mount underneath. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Let me see that. Uh, it feels solid. It's not like light or anything. No. And that, actually, that's a big lens. Can you zoom in on that? Let's see, it's kind of a little hard to see, but I mean, you can tell that's a pretty big lens. It's as big as my fingernail, which is a pretty big lens. So what, it shoots 1080p, I guess? Uh, yes, 1080p. Uh, let's, and it's let by me HTC. Let me remember here. It must have some memory built into it. On the bottom. No, it. Oh, it's got a, it's, no, it's got a micro SD right there. It's got a micro SD. Uh, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Oh, so you can view it, so go. you could connect with an app or something and view Correct. and view what's going on. Um, and then also it's waterproof. Let's see here. I'm going to try and turn it on. And here on the back is a mirror, so you can see kind of that. So like basically the same angle that you're going to get, then just turn it around and, and see. I see. I was thinking that if I hold this button right here, it might turn it on. It looks like it is. Look, it's blue. Huh? It's turning blue. It did it? Oh, it, wait, maybe, sorry. Oh, no, that was just a reflection. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing on I, the camera. I think it probably needs to be charged. Yeah. But pretty cool. Pretty it's cool very stuff. cool. What are we going to film with it? Oh, I'm going to find some stuff. Huh? The Daily Shows. Yeah, we're going to film the Daily Shows with that. Okay, that'll be good. That'll be good. I guess that's a <laughs> little Attach microphone a prompter down to there. it. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this with our big old prompter over there that'd be funny yeah that with that there we go that'll work out well I am currently <laughs> downloading an update you just dig right on in don't you 209 well, hey if I'm gonna do a review I'm getting started now <laughs> 298 point four megabyte update uh, but it's almost done you see the little yellow bar because we have a speedy network. Yes, we do, thanks to Time Warner. Yes, we do. Uh, so that's All it. Right. I guess we, you and I have, you know what? We have a meeting we are late, way late for at this point. So. It's a financial meeting. Oh, yay. We have to go talk about paying bills. That's always fun. That's not fun. <laughs> we don't want to leave you guys, to be honest, okay? But got to. So we'll see you guys uh, next week. Are we going to do this again next week? Yeah, of course. Same time. We'll be back, back same time, channel. same week. Same, not week, same. Bat channel. Place. What? Same, bat channel? Same, same bat, cha same bat, oh, bat time, yes. same bat channel. Indeed, yeah. We, we should probably stop this.